Spiky, please don't throw that away. But Mrs. Coco, I no longer need it. Why shouldn't I throw it away? Because it isn't useless. You can recycle it. Recycling is a process of converting waste materials into new materials or objects that can be used. There are different ways to recycle this bottle. For example, you can cut it into a vase and put some flowers in it. That's a great idea. I never thought of that. I can put it in my bedroom. Many different types of materials can be recycled, such as plastic, paper, and glass. Did you know that recycling can also be done on an industrial scale? For example, paper can be repulped and reprocessed into recycled paper. Used glass bottles can be crushed, remelted, and then made into new glass containers. Have a look at this symbol. This indicates that the product is made from recycled materials. Do you know what would happen to your bottle if you threw it away? I know that the garbage truck would collect it, but I don't know where it would go after that. The garbage truck would pick it up and dump it at an open site or burn it. When solid waste is burnt, it produces harmful emissions into the air. Similarly, when it's dumped, the smell it produces contains toxins that can result in acid rain. It also contaminates groundwater and soil. Can we dispose of waste material in a less harmful way? Yes, we can. Solid waste pollutes the Earth's environment when dumped in open spaces or burnt. Waste can be disposed of in a less harmful way, through landfill, incineration, or recycling. Landfill is a method of burying solid waste deep into the ground. These are well managed for maintaining hygienic conditions. Incineration is a method in which waste is burnt at extremely high temperatures to produce gas or oil. But spiky, there are other ways we can protect the environment and our earth. Would you like to know these? Yes, please, Mrs. Coco. We can conserve our natural resources. The Earth is the only planet where we know life is possible. Our survival depends on the survival of the Earth and on natural resources like air, water, and soil. Conservation is the practice of caring for these resources so that all living things can benefit from them now and in the future. When we conserve, not only do we protect our environment and wildlife, but we protect ourselves as well. Conservation ensures that we use our resources in a sustainable way. For example, disposing of waste in trash cans, recycling products, using public transport or walking short distances, and not wasting water. After all, you can't be healthy in an unhealthy environment. We must spread the word and tell our family and friends to care for the environment. I will do that, Mrs. Gogo. In fact, I think we need to tell everyone in the world. Yes, there are non-government organizations that organize different programs and activities to promote public awareness of environmental protection all around the world. These activities include seminars, debates, and the celebration of the World Environment Day. All of us are responsible for keeping the environment clean 
and for protecting it. Next time, don't litter and do not dispose of used items that can be recycled. Try to save water, oil, and gas. Be part of the change you want to see in the world. To summarize, recycling is the process of converting waste materials into new materials and objects. Solid waste materials should be managed properly by landfill, incineration, and recycling. Conservation is the practice of caring for natural resources so that all living things can benefit from them now and in the future. We should conserve our natural resources and dispose of waste properly to save our environment and the earth.